All right. I asked for people to inspire me, and I got inspired through negativity. Let me go back and say, um, back in the day, January 23rd, I warned everyone, Venus conjunct Black Moon Lilith after the Pluto conjunct Saturn, Mercury retrograde, Jupiter conjunct Pluto, Venus retrograde. It's going to be a foobar slaughterhouse clusterfuck shit show starting on January 26th through June 10th. And so most of the time, 95% of the time at Thor News for seven years, I have given you all fantastic, excellent information again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And so, yeah, these days are kind of doomy and gloomy. But Asteroid Fight Club is super badass. And having empathy, I'm going to take a lot of hits at times during periods like this. But I'm going to let some of my hubris shine through and say that, dude, my whole life has been one big battle against impossible odds the whole motherfucking time. And so I am still standing today. And especially since 2017 to now, I've had like super villains come out of the woodwork from every freaking sector from like oil, Bitcoin, Silicon Valley, North California real estate, uh, narrative gatekeepers, like you out of the truth community, you name it. And especially after my stepdad died, like it was just everybody came and taking shots at me. And I am still here standing and that whatever comes our way, we will survive it. Those who want to live, thrive, and be alive will probably make it. Those who find life a great, harsh, horrible, nihilistic place will probably not survive it. You know, it's like the people who are saying like, oh, dude, see, like the Illuminati is in control. No, God is in control, man. And I'm pretty sure that it'll take another week or two before everybody starts freaking out. Um, Because I don't think this coronavirus is going away. I've looked at the, I decoded some shit from Nostradamus, though you shouldn't trust that 100%. What I'm saying is that I have been, it's one of the reasons I've been doing this for forever, full time, is because the world is going to change. We are passing through an old system of nihilism that teaches you that you are just a mere human being and have no power whatsoever. Whereas I believe you are a child of God made in the image of God himself. And that you have a breath of God inside of you. And so we are here to set up the next thousand years. We are here to create the future. And it's kind of the reason why I have been so big on superhero mythology for so long. Whether it be from Norse mythology, comic books, real life, you name it. Because there are going to be the positive people and the negative people. Unfortunately, the negative people have been getting all the rewards from any and every type of media definitely over the last decade. So it is paid to be a nihilist. Nihilists have been in control, just as Albert Pike mentioned a long time ago. And so free will and destiny are both things. And as I've said many a times, my belief in Jesus Christ and God, and the Holy Spirit, Do not create me to be a weakling. Do not create me to give my power over to other people, whether it be invisible boogeymen, the deep state, the patriarchy, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, the Jesuits, the Zionists, like whoever it is, whoever bad guy, freaking zombie boogeyman people have on the Internet, in the YouTube comments to say, hey, don't do nothing. Get there. Get down naked. And lay face down and wait for Satan to ride his motorcycle up your butthole. That has never been my strategy. And so it's not going to be my strategy. And so, yeah, after big battles all the time, sometimes I get tired and I get a little down. And we got shit rolling down the pipe for sure. But no matter what it is, I'm going to do my best. Because that's how my mom raised me. That's how my dad raised me. That's how my stepdad raised me. That's how my friends brought me up to be. That's how all the great teachers and mentors and people that have inspired me. That you got being negative 
is the easiest thing to do right now. And so that's why we find out who the real strong people are. And I'm not saying be grand delusional, like, yeah, it's all cupcakes and rainbows. Although there's still people out there scared of rainbows. Like, hey, man, rainbows can turn us gay, you know? Anyway, but uh, I'm just saying, like, you know, it's it's become, it's a, it's a battle, man. It's the Asteroid Fight Club. Put on your full armor of God. And that it is why, like, I, I wrote 11 full screenplays. I've drawn a million pictures, poems, that this is a battle versus positive Im- imaginations versus negative imaginations. And that it is my belief that as I laid everything out for everybody, that we had to come together by 2020 or that the whole structure would start to collapse on itself, which it's happening. And so it is my belief that we manifested this as a collective from all of our greed, our hatred, our judgment, our anger, our fear, that like we pulled this thing straight out of the bottomless pit and it's here with us now. And so it has precedence, whether it be the 1914 Spanish flu or when they burned a thousand Jews back in the dark ages and you got the black plague that in the darkest parts, and a lot of them come at very deep solar minimums, that in the darkest parts of our heart, the worst things come out. But at that time is when heroes rise to the challenge. And a lot of times I get people in my YouTube comments trying to talk shit to me as a Christian. And I'm just being honest with you here, buddy. I don't think you can out Christian me. Now, I'm not trying to judge you and I'm not trying to judge me, but I get tired of Christians talking down to me because I have been here for everyone the whole time, loving you, forgiving you, and trying to get us all to work together because that is what I believe Jesus Christ and God want me to do. And so, you know, it's like, Grace without works is dead, bro. And so I have definitely, over the last 30 years, put my works in again and again and again and again and again and again and again. It's one of the times, it's one of the, I don't necessarily talk about my Christianity that much is because, dude, like, if you want to get into argument, all you got to do is start talking about Jesus because everybody's fully convinced they know exactly what God thinks, exactly what Jesus wants, and that just ain't the case, man. You know, it is like even versus the three Abrahamic religions, Christianity, uh, Islam, and Judaism, like we are all going off of a book for an invisible God. So nobody has like, it is based off of our belief, what we believe. And it is why I have been so adamant at Thor News about respecting what everyone else believes when it comes to God. And so... And it, and it basically, it's like a wishing well. Like you go to the wishing well and you pull out of it what you want or what you need. So if you want fear, man, you got it. If you want strength, you got it. If you want love, you got it. And so I'm just saying, man, now is the time, now is the day when we find out who's who and what is what. You know, that this is the future. No matter what the battle is in my life, I show up and I do my best. And I have always been lucky and blessed that if I died today, dude, I've had the greatest life you could ever imagine, even though I'm stuck in a foxhole now, (laughs) man. But like I said, I've made out with over a hundred of the most beautiful women in the world. I've hung out with some of the greatest guys ever. I've had some of the greatest times, you know, some of the greatest moments of my life or all the times I played with great musicians and we, we, we made great new music. I can't even count all the amazing guitar players. I know personally as a good friend, I'm on both hands that I have been lucky and I am not going to give up. And that I get that a lot of people use negativity or fear or nihilism as their safety blanket, but that is just not me. And so That, yeah, 2020 is going to be dark, dangerous, and sad in many ways. It is going to be filled with divide and conquer and tons of misinformation. But I still believe that there is a good future ahead of us. 
I still believe that Americans do the right thing after they've exhausted all other options. And that no matter what, our old system is crumbling. It is based on war, deception, and oil. And we're seeing oil shit to bed. So we're going to have some major overhauls. And even if it is the Illuminati in control, then what better reason for the public to unite? Do you really think that, like, the Illuminati doesn't have their hands in the Republicans and Democrats? Like, that's why the core solution at Thor News has always been uniting. And so anyone else who's suggested any other thing than that has been giving you bad information. That the core here is that we need to unite as a nation and as a planet to get over the old system because it's like a giant hydra. It is not one person or one group that is in control. Now remember, I've had a chance to sit down and talk to a lot of really powerful, very rich people over the last 10 to 20 years, man. And there are 7 billion people on the planet. Can you even wrap your head around those numbers? And so it takes teamwork to make the dream work. We have a billion families on Earth, and we are all in this together. So I'm going to do my best to stay me because I definitely would not trade places with anyone on the planet at any time in my life, good or bad. I've always enjoyed being me. But this is the fight of our life, and we are going to find out who is made of what, you know? And so I'm just saying, you know, that I have been a very good source of information, and not only that, at times I've been a very good source of inspiration and humor. And so I'm going to keep on doing what I do because I'm really good at it as your planetary defense commander. And so I recommend teamwork across all levels across all groups i recommend people put aside their bullshit hey dude i'm one of the smartest guys who's been most accurate over the last seven years and i don't know shit it's so crazy how much everybody thinks they know there was like they're expert the internet's made everybody an expert on every single subject and i'm telling you now dude I, there are many things that humble me and that there is a lot we don't know. So it is best to prepare for the worst and pray for the best. Because we got a lot of shit coming down the pipe. Like this is just, you remember how crazy January was. February was crazy. And March is probably going to be the month that the coronavirus is the big subject and issue here in the United States. And so we basically have two weeks to a month to be preparing for everything how are we going to keep our power grid up if we have to run our crematoriums should we even like run away from the virus if it's just going to circle the world the whole time what the hell can we do to bring rock and roll like i want to beat this little evil virus back to hell and one of the best ways to do that is with rock to pick people's spirits up is with rock and roll and hope and positivity and the the greatness of the human spirit and so nothing raises people's spirits faster than music. And we, the music mafias, had that shit on lockdown forever. Well, it is time to release it from lockdown because it is my belief that the virus is not controlled. And so this will hit the richest of the rich. This will hit the poorest of the poor. This will hit celebrities. This will hit everybody. And so we are in a waiting period to where it is slowly sinking in that there is no vaccine and that no one is in control. And I think people who are telling you otherwise are just pretty much blowing smoke up their own asses, which they like to do, you know, but I don't know, like if giving up or giving all your power to other people is what you like to do, then I guess enjoy the shocker, buddy, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Like Billy says, no time to die, man. Are you a hero or are you a chump? Are you just, are you a clone? Like what What are you? What is it in the great transition? You know, and I'm talking about like we are leading up to a conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter on the 21st of December, 2020. And no matter what, I want to have a party, man. I want to celebrate all the awesomeness that has been Asteroid Fight Club and everything 
that has been awesome throughout humanity through all of time. That I want to teach Earth how to party and have fun again. Because I am damn tired of all this negativity. And sure, it has pushed everything and has allowed them to break our minds, break our spirits, break our hearts, break our belief in everything. But I am not broken. Are you? You know, that's why, like, we definitely have some crazy shit. But this is the time where we all need to come together. As I've been saying forever, you know, like we will find out who is who and what is what. But I have faith in God. I have faith in Jesus Christ. I have faith in the Holy Spirit. And I have faith in you, good people of Earth and the amazing, awesome badasses of Asteroid Bike Club. And so thank you for the people who inspired me with their negativity because it just makes me feel like that much more of a champion. Because the hardest thing to do right now is to stay cool and remind people that whatever comes our way, we will survive it. I trained y'all to be the best of the best. And I'm and I'm pretty sure we've done a good job. So keep your spirits up, but I would definitely get prepared for a very weird March and wrap your head around the fact that as I've been telling you for seven years, you better just pretend like your government's not there. Or it's working against you, man. So it is time for people to come together. I love you. Stay cool. God bless everyone.